Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. It is one of the most infamous air disasters in history, and it happened right here in New Jersey. As a matter of fact, we just marked the anniversary of the Hindenburg air crash. Vanessa Tyler reports on that day that history will never forget. Larry, right where I'm standing, a luxury Zeppelin or airship filled with millions of cubic feet of combustible hydrogen crashed and burst into humongous flames. The accident forever known as the Hindenburg disaster. It's the crash that mesmerized the world. This is the actual newsreel. May 6, 1937, the Hindenburg, who could forget? 36 dead, including one on the ground. All the humanity and all the fans are just feeding around it. I don't do it. I can't even talk to people. Crashed right there in the large field at the now Joint Base Lakehurst. Every time the anniversary of the accident rolls around, this Jersey Shore town is put back in the spotlight. First of all, it was the only real accident that was filmed as it happened, and it has been preserved on film. Carl Jablonski is president of the Navy Lakehurst Historical Society. This year, the 80th really brought increased interest about the crash. On base in the gift shop, Hindenburg memorabilia. These are actual spoons, knives and forks that survived the fire. A you fork rescued from the ashes. This is a piece of the girder. It survived. Also here, the headlines, newspapers detailing the tragedy. What surprises me today is it's remembered by a lot of young people. Thanks to the iPad, the internet. She was as long as an ocean liner and as tall as a skyscraper. This 1975 movie about the crash, starring George C. Scott, is considered a classic. Before it went down in flames, the Hindenburg was an economic boom to Lakehurst. The Central Railroad of New Jersey ran excursion trains here. It was a dollar fifty round trip. You could see 90 to 100,000 people come out here to see this great airship come here. So they hired local people to help with the handling of the airship. It was a sight to see. They made coffee, sold sandwiches, and sold it to the people. The Hindenburg actually made 10 trips from Germany to Lakehurst in 1936, the year before, with no problems. It cost $740 round trip, nearly 13 grand in today's dollars. Since passenger planes didn't fly over the Atlantic Ocean, the luxury Hindenburg was the best way to get here from there. The steamship took five or six days to come here, and the Hindenburg came in two and a half. Going back to Germany was a little over two because of the tailwinds. The gigantic airship was hard to even imagine, 804 feet long. It also carried cargo. Once it transported an elephant to a zoo, it also delivered mail. This letter made it, even though members of this young boy's family did not. His name is Verna Donner. He was an eight-year-old boy at the time of the crash. He survived. He lost a mother and a sister, and um, they were on their way back to America from Germany. Today, of the 62 who survived, he is the only one still alive. The boy eight, now 88. What really happened on the Hindenburg? It's believed one of the mooring ropes caused a leak which sparked the tons of hydrogen that kept it afloat. Meanwhile, Carl, who has headed the commemoration events for the past 22 years, doesn't see the interest dying down. In fact, the 100th anniversary in 20 more years likely will bring record-breaking crowds. I'm starting to take my vitamins, so I'll stopefully be here for that one. <laughs> in Lakehurst, I'm Vanessa Tyler for Jersey Matters.